clock that stopped ticking there. Well, after weeks of debate and threats of a split, a revolutionary change is all set to sweep the Church of England. The governing body of the Anglican Church has voted to allow women bishops. Well, uh, women priests uh, were allowed Reverend to enter Rosemary the male-dominated church in 1994. A furious battle that often seemed to have little to do with holiness and piety over whether women priests like her can be consecrated as bishops in the Church of England. The Anglican Church has a clergy of 13,000. 3,000 of them are women priests who are barred from going up the ladder, being ordained as bishops. Winds of change are sweeping the Anglican Church. It means that in the future it will be possible for women to occupy the most senior roles in the Church of England. It was in 1975 that the General Synod of the Church of England said that there was no theological objection to women priests. So it's been quite a long time coming, really. These newspaper headlines give some idea of just how vociferously groups within the Church oppose the move. Even now, a code of practice will be laid down to address concerns of those not comfortable with women bishops, which will then be sent back to the general synod or the governing body in the next couple of years. To give you an idea of just how revolutionary the step taken by the Anglican Church is, the Roman Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church still don't allow any women priests. And even though there have been threats of an exodus by the conservative and traditionalist groups within the Church of England, it is now clear that here is another glass ceiling that looks all set to be broken soon. In London, with Akhilesh Patel, Swati Maheshwari, NDTV.